So we'll see. I mean, I just might be in really good shape. And, you know, a bomb.com, my legs are strong. So it could be that too. I don't know. <laughs> Week two, we out here, we back, we still in Calgary. A lot of the footage that I took this week, I'm not gonna be able to use, unfortunately, um, cause I didn't have audio and it's in slow motion. Needless to say, I was pretty pissed when I found out and went back and checked. My bad on that one. So much of what we do as athletes is routine. Like that's how we thrive, that's how we live. So this week, what did I do? I wake up, eat, push in the ice house, lifting, eat, sleep. Did I say eat already? Yeah. Wake up and do that whole thing all over again. <laughs> Obviously we got a few recovery days sprinkled in there, but you get what I'm trying to say. And it's about getting reps in and doing something over and over and over and over again. Um, actually, I heard this quote where it, it said, you know, you don't practice until you can get it right. You practice until you can't get it wrong. So then on your absolute worst day, you are still pretty good. So, I mean, that's 100% what I'm out here trying to do, practicing until I can't get it wrong. For lifting this week, I was actually lifting significantly heavier than I was last week. We making gains. Hey, holla at you, Carol. But I don't even so much know that it was like, I'm stronger in one week, as it was just my mental approach to lifting. This week, I was like, let's. Let's put some weight on, let's just do it. And it literally was just me being like, I'm just gonna try and lift heavier. Being in the weight room, seeing what everybody else was lifting, seeing what I was lifting and being like, okay, these two things are not correlating very well. Um, there obviously was a limit, <laughs> there was a point. But I think that's the good thing about this week, figuring out like where that those max points are for me. Um, because when you're not used to it, sometimes you get to the bar and it's almost like intimidating um, and you might psych yourself out before you know, the time even comes to move the weight. So I'm really having an attitude of like, I'm here to get stronger and I'm here to, to make gains. Like I'm not just here to like move the weight around. Oh, so Kaylee's in town. Um, she's one of the drivers out here for Bob's at Canada. She's the one who invited me to come out. So y'all will meet her anyways. Uh, she took me to PX3 Brain Science to get fitted for a bite regulator. So a bite regulator is basically gonna be, you know, like a mouth guard. Um, but 10 times better and there's so much more than that. Increase like your O2 intake, um, which helps with like power output, um, you know, which is gonna be amazing for recovery, obviously protect your teeth. So all these really amazing um, things. So I can't wait to get that. Um, so, you know, I got fitted for it. Um, we made a mold. Uh, so that's gonna fit specifically for me, for my teeth, and to hold my jaw in alignment. Um, and Brad hooked us up. He was so awesome. Some races are just won by hundreds. So every little thing matters. Um, and I know something about fighting for hundreds and thousands of a second. It's the little things that matter. You know, just, just the blink of an eye can separate you um, between first and sixth. Right, so that's super crazy. Anyways, so. y'all, thanks for tuning in. For thanks for coming on the journey. Um, the goal right now is to try and post a video every Tuesday. So go on ahead, turn on my post notifications so you guys can always know when I put up some videos. Subscribe, like, comment, comment below. Hit that subscribe button. Um, get me a thumbs up, and I'll let you curl.